up everyone? Steve Rugan from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7. Another good day whenever you get a new RC in the garage. Now, WR Toys, I've done a few of them on the channel. They are great cars in my opinion. Good value for money. Super quick, they handle very well. And there are part support, which is probably one of the major things. So, we have another 110 scale buggy here from WR Toys. Let's have a look. I do like the look of them. They look pretty cool. Some of the names still a little bit funny, but what we have here, 110 scale, ready to run. It's got obviously metal oil filled shocks, metal running gear, brushless motor, 45 amp ESC, a watertight steering servo, and yeah, it's ready to rock and roll. So, like I said, had a few of these on the channel before, not, maybe not this particular one, can't really remember. But uh, here we go. So, first up, your wing, your manual, and some spare parts. Super easy to put that wing on. Your 2.4 gigahertz controller, which is looks very similar to all the other W Toys ones you get. You know, nothing fancy, but they do the job. Nice steering wheel colour there as well, but it does have throttle um, and your steering and dual rate, all that kind of cool stuff. But there we go. So let's not waste too much time. We want to see this bad boy run. Now it is packaged quite nice, but I do love the colours of these. That looks awesome. So top two. Power top two ready to win. Like I said, these sometimes don't mean anything. It's just I think some of the arts department just see anything that looks kind of cool and they just slap it on here. Which no relevance to the car itself. But there we go. These are awesome. I do know that. That's for sure. Clip it upside down. Nice aluminium chassis with this faux. Well, oh, it's like a plastic carbon fibre on the sides. I don't know why they're still using Phillips heads. That's something I wish they would uh, change into hex heads. So maybe that's something in the future, if they're listening, please do that. So standard size nuts, but nice wheels and tyre combo. I do like this dish type of look, and that's actually good for racing because it stops mud and stuff getting in there. That's what, I've, uh, that's what I've heard. So if it's open, mud can get stuck in there, but when it's a dish like this, nothing can get stuck on. But they do look nice. They do feel... Oh, no, no, actually, the front ones, no, I think they're not foam filled, but... Uh, Anyway, let's have a look under this chassis, sorry, under the plastic body, as you can see. Nice, really nice colours, that's for sure. It's a beefy ass heatsink. So there's your brushless motor, your 45 amp ESC. And what I do like about these, they're not a two-in-one setup, which is excellent. So one thing fails, you don't need to replace it all. There is your steering server light down, your receiver, your metal running gear. So it's got a front diff. Uh, this is just a centre section there with your spur gear, which... I'm not too sure. It sounds, it does sound uh, metal, but uh, we'll try that. That's pretty beefy running gear in the middle, that's for sure. So nice setup, steering linkages and everything there, uh, all similar to the other buggies you can see that are on the market for these. She has a lower hole there and an upper one here for some adjustability for your suspension. And you can also adjust the camber and tow in and tow out slightly with these turnbuckles there as well. Front, it does have a servo saver as well, which is good. That'll mitigate any damage if you hit something hard enough. That spring will hopefully take a lot of the damage. On and off switch. Metal running gear. Come around to the back. Let's feel this. Not too bad. Probably can maybe some thicker fluid in there, but uh, here's what it is. We'll stay, we'll, I like to test everything out as you get it in the box. Typical drive shafts. Everything, nothing fancy there. No CVDs or anything like that, but this will do the job. Adjustable turnbuckles for your camber. So if you want negative or positive, you can adjust it there, but that's about it. And also does have some holes for your suspension. Around this side, does include a LiPo battery. So if it's your first car, awesome. 3,000 milliamp, well, that's that's not bad. 3,000 milliamp, 2S, so that should give you at least 15 minutes run times. But that all varies depending on how much you are happy on that uh, throttle trigger there. So nothing out of this world, nothing that you haven't seen before, but let's get the battery charged. Put this wing on and let's take it out too. Let's go, we'll go to the netball court. I like to see how these guys go on level fields first and stuff like that. Maybe a little bit of grass, but let's get that out there. All right, guys, here we have the Violent Serpent. <laughs> Such weird names, but anyway. Uh, let's see, we got stock battery. Um, let's just trim it up a little. There we go. Now, the park that we normally go to for like, um, to check out, it's packed. Keeps the little kids, and I don't want to be hitting little kid in the face with one of these. So, stock, stock 
box set up. Definitely very, um, a lot of potential these cars because they're oil filled, oil filled shocks, everything, and the chassis is quite, quite well balanced. They handle pretty well, in my opinion. Now, if we get another more timer and uh, less kids, I'll uh, definitely, I'll definitely take it out to the actual bike track and give it a nice little run around to be max track. But let's just go. What, I, what I'll do, actually, let me put a 3S battery in here, what do you reckon? Let me do a speed test. Yeah. Let's do that. Never want to say 3S. Alright, 3S. The light that bad boy in here. Let's see how this goes. Let's uh, just wait for some of these cars. It's like no one here. As soon as you turn the camera on. There's someone coming. Always. Oh, oh, but let's go. Not as fast. I reckon that's probably what, about 70. Let's do another one. 76, heavy? Alright, let's try. That's not nice tagging here again, won't it? Let's have a look. Let's see what I've got. 64. So, meh. 64 kilometers an hour. But there we go, there. So that's in kilometers an hour, guys. But uh, yeah. What do you guys want to see this at the BMX track? <laughs> Alright guys, hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I've done this before and uh, they perform well. If you haven't seen it inside, I'll show you. But uh, they're great. If you're watching this video, you would have seen it because I've unboxed it in the beginning and showed you what you get quickly. But links are down below if you want to go check it out. Nice simple little setup. Nothing to it. Does work well. Brushes. Uh, uh, motor, brush of CSC, nice little, actually I like how it's got the inclusion of the fan on there which is good and it's also got a pretty decent heat sink and that is not hot at all, that wouldn't even cook a mini quail egg so, does the job there nice simple layout these are nothing, you've been on a channel before but all metal uh, drivetrain and all that kind of stuff and they work really well, nice metal hinge pins there to hold everything together um, but the main thing is they do handle well because it does have oil filled shocks yeah, alright guys, be interested, links down below, go check it out.